Well, well, what a surprising day today has been, ladies and gentlemen. I was merely editing my video of the recent Battlefield Hardline news drop, the one with all the details about the first DLC criminal activity, and then all of a sudden, this trailer got leaked, and it contained a load more information about what we can expect to see in the first DLC, and it got me pretty excited. First up, let's cover the hardline news, the 100% legitimate information as to what we can expect from the Criminal Activity DLC. So a few days ago, EA dropped this information in a blog post alongside this picture, showing two of the new masks coming to the Criminal Faction and two of the four new pieces of headgear coming to the Cop Faction. The information followed the old tried and tested Battlefield DLC method, bringing us four new maps called Backward, The Beat, Code Blue and Black Friday. And from those titles, I think we can be fairly confident as to where these locations are going to be. Backward being a sort of out of town wooded area, which has actually turned out to be a logging facility. The Beat, which is set in like a poor urban neighborhood and looking very reminiscent of some of the first scenes in the Hardline campaign, actually. Code Blue, well, actually this one for me was the least obvious, which has transpired to be some sort of nightclub, and Black Friday, taking on the form of a shopping mall, and again looking like one of those locations that we played through in the campaign. With that leaked trailer that I mentioned to you, we did actually get a glimpse of all four of those maps, and I've posted some screenshots up on the screen for you right now, and I've stuck the name under each of them so you can see which map it actually is, and the images aren't great quality, and <laughs> I do apologise for that, but you can get the general feel for the maps there. And interestingly, one of the screenshots for the map The Beat it actually shows a player inside one of the cars, and if you look closely, I'm not sure how well you could see it on the screen there, but at least I can see that inside the car, the steering wheel is like made out of chain metal, which is really cool. And one of the other screenshots that <laughs> I haven't actually put in the video does show that car that, that you can drive, I think. And I think it might be like a Easter egg vehicle or, or something like that. But I do remember in the beta that a lot of players wanted the ability to be able to drive civilian vehicles as well as faction specific ones, ones that are given to you like around the map. They wanted to be able to get in just like a normal car or something like that and just drive around. Well, maybe after all this time, Visceral really did listen. Along with those four maps, we will be getting access to three new weapons and a new super weapon as well, the nail gun. But first of all though, only three weapons? Most DLCs in the past have, have featured five new weapons and I'm looking to Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 3 when making that comparison. I'm slightly disappointed to only see three weapons make it into this DLC, perhaps considering that one thing that people seem to be complaining about with Hardline is that there just isn't enough content to play with. So in hearing that feedback, my priority would have been to make sure you put like a statement of intent down and you make sure that people understand that you're bringing content forward. But they haven't really done that with the weapons here. But what they have done is kind of push that content into sort of other brackets as well. And they've tried to balance it equally across everything that they're trying to achieve. The nail gun, though, is going to be a pickup weapon only, and that's what I meant by super weapon. I didn't want you to think that it was like some crazy OP weapon, but it's going to be like the MG36 or the M240 Bravo right now. You can pick those up around the map in random locations, and it won't be able to replenish ammunition. So once you've used it, then you're just going to have to drop it and carry on. But it does sound really cool, if I'm honest, and Hardline hasn't been afraid to take some risks. I mean... There are plenty of them that are fairly evident in the game, and for me, the nail gun is one of those, but I'm really looking forward to sort of having a go with it. Another potential new weapon coming, and this again is taken from the leaked trailer, is a Tommy gun. Now, before I go ahead and say that this is definitely confirmed, the trailer that was leaked was, first of all, in Spanish, and uh, so I couldn't 100% tell what was being shown off, but also there's no guarantee that this trailer is the one that is supposed to be released for the Criminal Activity DLC. It could be something that was produced a little while back, a sort of like a placeholder, so there's no real way to know 100% if any of this information is really accurate, but 
I've got a funny feeling that it is because having seen all the screenshots and briefly seen what was actually in that trailer, it kind of looked legit. So I'm going to go ahead and sort of get excited for the fact that there may be a Tommy gun making its way into Hardline. And for those of you who don't know what a Tommy gun is, it's an M1A1 Thompson World War II machine gun. Uh, with a drum mag attached to the bottom. And if Visceral have put that in the game, well, they deserve a massive thumbs up from me. And on top of those maps and weapons, we will be getting a brand new gadget, the new Bounty Hunter game mode, which we have no details for at all right now. Two new ammunition types for specific weapons in the game. So you can think of that as something like the 338 Magnum rounds for specific snipers. We might be getting like a, a higher caliber round for assault rifles or, or maybe PDWs or something like that. Sounds really cool. Two new vehicles are coming as well, along with six new pieces of headgear. I mentioned those at the start. Two animal masks, the bunny rabbit and the gorilla. Those are for the criminal faction and four helmets for the cops to show off as well. And this reinforces my point that they're trying to balance out that content across the whole DLC. They haven't just given us five weapons, four maps, a new vehicle and a new mask. No, they've given us six masks, three weapons, four maps, two vehicles, and it kind of balances out across everything. So yes, it's not that great that we're only getting three weapons, but we are getting more of other things to play with as well. And all of this is coming in early June, with premium members getting their standard early access to the content and other players coming in just after. So if, like me, you've kind of lost interest in Hardline just a little bit, then I hope this news has perked you up a little bit because I'm extremely excited to get my hands on this DLC right now. If the Tommy gun is in there, that will be absolutely amazing. But that's all I've got time for today, guys. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you could drop me a like, that'd be absolutely fantastic. And don't forget to hit up g2a.com slash r slash westy and grab yourself a great deal. Maybe even get on that premium hype for Battlefield Hardline. If you're really excited by this news and you want to be the first to get your hands on the content, then you can always grab it from G2A. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.